Greetings, and welcome back to Phasmophobia. This episode, we'll be doing a professional Willow Street uh, house. Um, email from a friend. So let's hop in here and see if we can't quickly locate and identify a ghost. So I've been watching um, another game that is due out Friday called uh, Ghost Hunters Core. It looks entertaining. It's similar. Uh, it's like Phasmophobia's distant cousin. It's not... It doesn't play like Phasmophobia. It's more about the exorcism, investigating um, what you need to get rid of a ghost. But it is also... It is also an investigative game. We've had no reports of violence, but keep an eye out. Alright, no reports of violence. I think that means the ghost is less likely to uh, do events. I can't remember. Uh, blow out a candle, walk through salt. It's in our favorite corner down there. But, uh, yeah, that uh, other game, Ghost Hunter Core, and it's due out Friday. It does look entertaining, um, but it is, it's different than this. Uh, the ghosts are far more aggressive, but you have more active means of defending yourself from them. You're not killed in, like, just bumping into the ghost when it hunts. You have time to get away, stuff like that. Uh, but it also has the investigative elements to it, where you're looking for evidence. And uh, it looks entertaining, so I might end up picking it up. And I didn't turn on this light. Hello? But yeah, you're dealing with a more aggressive ghost in it right off the bat. Oh, I heard a footstep. You here? Can you give us a sign? Show yourself. Yeah, see, for the most part, phasmophobia is about not letting the ghost get aggressive if you really want to be able to quickly collect the evidence <clears throat> and uh, um, identify the ghost what you need to do is manage your sanity and not give the ghost the power but uh, Ghost Hunter Core the ghost is aggressive right off the bat I mean with certain ghosts you can walk in the door and it'll immediately be after you but like I said it's all about the conflict with the ghost. So it's while it does have the investigative e elements, I don't consider it a clone or a ripoff of Phasmophobia. I think it's an entirely different game that was just kind of inspired by it best. But yeah, it definitely looks entertaining. So, uh y'all are interested in seeing me uh, play that one, let me know in the comments. I'll probably add one a week of those for a bit. Ah, there we go. That's what I've been looking for. We have a bone. And Ghost has given me nothing. Very shy Ghost. I think that's what, yeah, that's what that call out meant. Not that it's less likely to do events, that it is just shy. It's less likely to do much of anything um, than no reports of violence. So getting evidence from it is a little bit more difficult. But I did hear a footstep, and one of my objectives is to get it to walk through salt. So we're going to take salt and a UV light inside. And I kind of wish... I had brought 
the UV, uh, no, I can do this. I can take the UV light downstairs first, come back up for the camera. But yeah, there's no sanity to me. The breaker, seriously? Freezing temps. I thought I closed that door back. I guess I did not. Alright, we're going to throw that down. Put some piles of salt through here. And run upstairs and get us a camera. See if we can see some footprints. salt, walk through two piles of it. But I see, I, uh, they probably did it, I need it to walk through this pile to see if it has footprints. Now, I, I'm not sure if you can get footprints on this floor. Uh, I know there are some floors, like, uh, especially in like the farmhouses, that are really bad for footprints. We don't have fingerprints. So I don't think you're a wraith anyway. So, screw it. And we'll leave the camera down here and go bring some actual evidence collection on in. Uh, we need the book, the spirit box, and a video camera. And we've been in here quite a while, so we should check our sanity. I'm guessing borderline 80 to 70. Um, if it's lower, then we might have, uh, a more aggressive ghost. I believe you die is freezing temperatures. Let's see. Yes. Okay, it's, if it's lower than that... Nope, we're about where I expected to be, so I don't think it's a U die. Uh, I'm not ruling it out yet, but I just don't think it is. Alright, so let's look for some ghost orbs, since we haven't found fingerprints. Uh, that would give us either Mare or U die. Possibly Phantom. Phantom might be ghost orb as well. I can't. I, I I don't know what it is, you know. Sometimes I feel like I have these things memorized, and other times I can't seem to remember them. The light again. That was not the breaker. You don't like the light. I can tell that. Still no fingerprints. Yeah, I don't think you're a fingerprint ghost. Oh, I should bring the EMF reader over here. Since you like the light switch. we we'll just put it right... Why is it so dark there? Oh, man! Put it right there. Nope, farther out. That way we might be able to see it with the camera. Alright, Stompy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not a wraith, even though I haven't found footsteps. Or footprints. I heard footsteps. Heard plenty of footsteps. But I'm pretty sure it's not a wraith. Um, mare, possibly. So let us see if we have any orbs. And I forgot to turn the light off, didn't I? It's going to be kind of difficult to spot the orbs with the light on. Not impossible, just difficult. 
Uh, take that back. It's impossible to spot the orbs with the light on in that hallway. Maybe the ghost will be kind and uh, turn off the light for us. Oh, you need to blow out a candle. I've witnessed a ghost event. Really? What what ghost event did I witness? Wait, wait. Did I just see a ghost orb pass in front of that? Did I just see one down there? I take it back. Maybe it is not impossible to detect ghost orbs with the light on. You just have to be extremely observant. But I am not seeing what I saw before. And it could have just been a trick of my imagination. So we will leave the camera there and cut off the light. And you are suddenly not active at all. And we're going to take a candle and the spirit box and see if we have voices. Yeah, that's another thing I like with the um, Ghost Hunter Core is it has things like the spirit box and the uh, EMF reader in it, but there are multiple levels of evidence with each. Like with the spirit box, uh, if you get radio signals, that's one piece of evidence. Uh, otherwise, you could actually hear voices or laughing. And each of those are like different pieces of evidence. You stepped in the other salt. Can you give us a sign? No, that's not what I meant. Where are you? How old are you? How old are you? Alright, I actually don't think freezing temperatures, ghost riding, and ghost or a uh, uh, ghost uh, spirit box are cumulatively a um, piece of evidence for a ghost. I might be mistaken, and that might be like the Hanto. But I'm pretty sure if I ha if I was correct in seeing a ghost orb with that light on, that we have a U die because I believe it is ghost writing. But yeah, let's actually uh, plug that in. Let's see, back this way too, right? Yeah. Demon, U die. Okay, no, those are the only two possibilities: uh, spirit box or ghost orb. And I believe I did see a ghost orb. Let us see if I was correct. Now that the light is off, yeah, see, because I, I thought I'd seen a ghost orb passive over that and in front of that. You're playing with a door, and I don't have the EMF reader close enough to detect that, but no, I'm actually not seeing a ghost orb now. Maybe that was just my imagination, or did I just faintly see something right there? Confirmation bias, possibly. I want to see it, so I do. So yes, let's reposition this camera. And let's not turn our camera, our, our light off. Did I get the blow out the candle yet? No. But the candle's out. No, it isn't. Candle's not out. Okay. Um. What do I want to bring in? I don't know. A lighter? Uh... I guess another video camera. That would be the smart thing. Then we can get multiple angles. Because I'm going to move this one to look down that stretch of hallway toward the, um... Uh circuit breaker and I can pop this one in one of the little rooms that one that has been playing with the door and see if uh, I can find it 
but uh, yeah, in, in Phasmo, basically, your defense is keeping your sanity up. If your sanity drops, well, you have the smudge stick as a fallback. Where are you? How old are you? Where are you? Candle stays on. Blah de blah de blah. I can carry the candle with me now. Because I don't need it downstairs anymore. I'm pretty sure I'm looking for a ghost orb at this point. I'm pretty sure we do not have spirit box. And now we could bring in a smudge for defense just in case, but <clears throat> I don't think this thing's going to be able to push my sanity to the point where it can hunt. Not since I just took sanity pills too, not too long ago. I'm still in the 90s, I guarantee it. Yeah, high 90s. We have a ghost orb. Yep, just kind of lazing along there in front of that doorway. Alrighty. So, oh, wrong button. J. We have identified our ghost. It is a Udai. Uh, you still haven't blown out a candle? Let's just take another candle. And if that one at the entrance is out, we'll light it with this candle and then carry it in. And we're going to try and get our last objective here. Because this is a fairly easy objective. You just basically have to wander around the ghost till it blows out your candle. And I have a lighter to relight it. And it's nice and stompy down here. Can you give us a sign? What'd you throw? Can you blow out the candle? Oh, you were just here. Show yourself. Can you give us a sign? Where'd you go? Show me. Show yourself. You're at the stairs. Can you blow out the candle? Show yourself. Where did you go? All right, you pesky little twerp. Can you give us a sign? Show yourself. Show me. Can you blow out the candle? What are you throwing around? Oh, hello! 
Didn't even see you there. Show yourself. Show me. Very shy ghost. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get it. Can you blow out the candle at least? Hello? Where'd you go? Alright, so we did witness an obvious ghost event there. I don't know what the first ghost event that happened was that it said I witnessed, but I didn't. But you know what? You like this corner, because you've been rolling that around. Have a damn candle. I wanted to get a photo of it. I was curious what model this guy had. My guess is the butcher. All right. Well, we've identified our ghost. Can't seem to get it to blow out a candle unless we get lucky on the way back in here. Um, and it blows out the candle that I left behind. And it did not. Yeah, I did identify it. So, I'm thinking... 190. I don't think we got enough photos. Oh, spot on called it. Oh, uh, got another level or two. Spent five minutes in the dark. Eight in the ghost room. Saw three events. I, there's only one that I actually recognized as an event. And that was the scream. And there were 43 interactions. Hmm. Alrighty. Well, thank you all for watching. And we'll see you next time.